A new option titled Rosegrams has been added to the symbol options for all programs that create 2D maps from borehole data. This new capability produces maps that depict lithology or stratigraphy thicknesses without the need for any modeling. In this example, we can see that there's a lot of sand in these regions, thick gravels in these areas, and thick clays in these regions. The number of petals that are depicted within the diagrams are determined by the lithotypes and stratotypes tables. Items that are checked within the Show and Legend column will be included within the Rosegrams. For example, let's say that we're interested in stratigraphic unit thicknesses. By unchecking the units that we're not interested in within the stratotypes table, thickness variations become very obvious. In this case, the Potosi formation is noticeably thick here, whereas the Leadville limestone is all but absent here. The Rosegram options are described as follows. The data types define if you'll be displaying lithology or stratigraphy data. The scalar is used to enlarge or reduce the Rosegrams. In this example, the scalar was set to 2.0, which is obviously too small. In this example, the scalar was set to 20, which is too big because some diagrams are overplotting adjacent diagrams. A scalar of 10 turned out to be the Goldilocks setting for this particular data set. It will invariably require some experimentation to get just the right size for your rosegrams based on the borehole density. If the inner radius is set to zero, the wedges will converge at the borehole collar locations. Otherwise, the rose petals will be offset outward from the collar locations to produce circular gaps within the diagrams. When plotted in combination with other symbol map options, these gaps can be used to depict other types of information. In this example, the symbols within the circular gaps depict the well types. The borders setting defines if the wedges will include a thin black perimeter. The patterns option determines if the wedges will be filled with the associated patterns. Disabling the pattern fills will produce diagrams that only use the specified pattern background colors. If patterns are to be included, their densities can be increased or decreased by adjusting the density setting. For example, the map in the upper right corner depicts the patterns at a density of 1.0, while this map uses a density factor of 0.5 to produce finer patterns. At the risk of too much clutter, the wedges can be labeled. These labels can depict the names of the lithology types or the stratigraphic units, or they can show the total thicknesses for the units, or they can show both. The labels can be plotted either radially or horizontally. The size of the label font is expressed as a percentage of the map size. Optimizing the font size typically involves some experimentation. The ability to change the font color is important when the background is not white. The offset defines the distance from the outside of the wedge to the label. This in turn defines the length of the leader line that connects the wedge to the label. On a cautionary note, please be aware that the unit thicknesses represent the total thicknesses within each borehole. They do not represent the total contiguous thicknesses. If this is important, you may want to consider using the Rockworks Strip Log Map program instead.